guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a product review. Um, this is not a sponsored video or anything. It's just a product that I use that I want to do a review for you guys. In particular, we're going to be doing a headphone review. Uh, headphones are something that I think are very important in ASMR. Uh, if you can't accurately hear the sounds that the artist is trying to produce, then you're not going to get the full experience that they're trying to deliver to you. And so I think as important as the recording equipment that they're using is the uh, headphones, earphones that you are using to receive that sound is just as important. So uh, headphones are something that I really love. Headphones, earbuds, uh, I just find them really interesting. and. I consequently find that I kind of have a decent number of different products. I didn't really realize this was happening until I sat down one day and counted off how many different kinds I had. And so I thought I could share my feelings with you guys. And we're going to start that today. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bose Sound True in ear headphones. Uh, their headphone that I got about a month ago. And I've been using them since then. I got them as a present. Um, so let's uh, get started with the review. Uh, you get them. They come with this case to keep all of your stuff for the headphones in them. Um, let's see. It says bows on it. It's kind of like a nylon-y material with some folks leather there. Okay. So that's what the case looks like. The zipper's okay on it. It's not like a great zipper, but it's not the worst. Um, the case, let's empty that out. The case on the inside looks like this. It's kind of, let's see if we do that. You know, it's kind of hard. There's, it feels like there's maybe some cardboard in there. Um, maybe a little bit of padding, but really it's more some cardboard and some felt, so it's not like the most durable thing, but you know, it's something and it's it's nice to be able to keep it all together and keep stuff from getting tangled, which is really important to me because in my bag I have a bunch of cords and uh, a couple, I actually keep like three or four headphones in my everyday carry. Um, I've got a calculator, a whole bunch, pens, pens, all kinds of stuff. It's just my miscellaneous pocket, and that's where these live right now. Um, and so having this so that they never get mixed up with other stuff is huge. It's so easy to just reach in. It's easy to see and come out with it. it saves me a lot of time in the morning, to be honest. Um, which I guess kind of brings me to um, a little bit of what I think of them. They are, or how I've been using them. I've been using them as my everyday driver. Um, they're my primary headphones that I use. Uh, like when I'm at work, I listen to music on them. Um, and I, uh, yeah, so got a little bit tangled up when I took them out of the case. So let's see. So these are the actual earbuds, I guess you would call them the in-ear headphones, okay, there's two of them, they're definitively right and left, this is the right ear, let's see, I don't think I can zoom in, yeah, that's as close as I can, but there's a little R there, I don't know if you can tell, and then this one has a little left, a little L for left, they are very much so one-sided, you can't swap them. Uh, they won't go in your ear even. So I'll put them in for you now and you can see what they look like. Uh, then we'll talk a little bit more about them. So, so that's what they look like when they're in your ear. Okay, so you can kind of see they kind of curl behind your ear. There's the other ear, I think. Okay, so 
look at what they're basically doing is this part right here is this little bit it curls behind in this part of your ear here and it creates a very solid connection um, I've kind of played around with that a little bit and I am somebody who uh, headphones every pair of headphones and is constantly falling out of my ears and I hate it I have been looking for a long time for a pair of headphones that I don't have that problem with and this is the first pair first pair that I have found that does that so pose great job A plus on this securing mechanism um, it's a little windy, I don't know if you can hear that, but I really like that. I've tried jumping, running, shaking my head side to side. Nothing will dislodge them except for actually pulling them out. The only other thing would be, you know, if you're like this and something catches, even then it doesn't usually come out um, the way that it sits in your ear. Um, they do come with sized packages of the little, little ear nobules. I used the medium sized ones. That's what they came um, with on it. And I haven't had any problems. Uh, I just popped in my ear. Super comfortable. Uh, yeah, they've been, they were great. Uh, if you do need to swap them, basically what you do is you pull. Let's see. I've never had to change the zoom so much. Pull here, this part here, pull it off, and it pops off, and it looks kind of like this. And then to put a new one on, you slide into that hole, and then you'll push this up over that little latch, and then it's on, and you're good to go. It's is that and uh, yeah, I uh, it's very secure. I haven't had any problems with them moving or anything in my ear, um, so it's pretty good. Standard headphone connection, like you're used to having on like your iPhone, your Android, iPod, anything like that. Uh, but they do come with a large and a small. Um, so if your ears don't fit, they also come with this little clip guy with a little rotating doohickey to clip it to like your clothes. Um, I don't use it. Uh, I just keep it keep it all in the bag, in the box that it came in, and just you know. But I guess you could that if that's something that you like. It's always nice. I like it when headphones or, you know, other pieces of technology come with um, those bonus little features and enhancements. They're not a big difference. You know, this clip isn't a make or break feature to me, but the fact that it's in the box, I think says a lot about the versatility and the thought that went into product um, and I think that that's really important um, because it tells me that they've thought through other potential problems or uses that you might have um, but the way that they mount in your ear was huge to me because I have had I don't know how many of you have had this problem but the style of headphone in fact I have a pair I will grab so there's this style of earbud, which I think a lot of you will be familiar with. You know, it's kind of got that squishy foam or rubber bit that goes inside of your ear, and it's supposed to seat very solidly inside of your ear. Well, I've had this style before, and I hate them. I hate them so much. They're so uncomfortable in my ear, and particularly if I'm trying to, you know, enjoy ASMR style content, something where I'm trying to be relaxed and comfortable, having something wedged in my ear that, you know, I feel it all the time and it hurts even. I can't think of anything less relaxing than that. And I was been looking for a while for an upgraded pair of earbuds, but I didn't want that style. 
style and all of the nicer style, uh, you know, the nicer brands and higher quality and better sounding earbuds that I'd come across were all that style. This, we'll call them the ear dam style. And I did not like the ear dam style until I found these. And I was really hopeful that these were going to feel as good as I hoped they would. That they weren't going to press anywhere. They were just going to seat very nice and softly, kind of like um, if you're familiar with like the default uh, iPhone or Apple earbuds that they give you whenever you buy an Apple product. I hope they would feel that little pressure. They do. They are that comfortable. They are probably more comfortable and they don't fall out and they sound the most important, important part. They sound fantastic. They are um, stereo. You're about to good think of the word. They're stereo, so for ASMR that's very important, right? Because you want to be able to enjoy the left and right sounds as a content creator is creating those for you. You don't want to, and I've had this with some of the headphones I've gotten before, you only get just mono channels. You're only getting um, the same sound on both ears all the time, which is okay for a lot of applications, but ASMR in particular, you really take advantage of having that stereo capability. These will do that. They sound fantastic when they do it. Um, they're not active noise cancellation. There is a model with active noise cancellation. These are not it. These are just the passive, the kind of thick. Um, and so you do get a little bit of protection from sound just because there's something in your ear. And there's a lot of rubber kind of if you look at when it seats in my ear, right? Uh, actually, I'm going to show you on this side. I guess you can't see it, can you? But, you know, this goes in, this plugs the hole here. And then there's all of this rubber around. So it really makes for, you know, a decent sound dampening. I really like it in my office because I can hear what's happening around me if I pay attention to it. But if I want to zone in on a task, uh, it's easy to not pick up on the rest of the sounds in my office. But still hear things if something important happens and somebody is, you know, saying my name. Um, so I think it's got a nice balance there, particularly for not being an active noise cancellation. They also come in five colors. Uh, I have the black ones, as you can see. But they also make a cranberry, white, black, jet blue, and indigo. Um, I like the blacks. I think it's a nice, simple look. It's not doing your face, but if you like one of the other colors, they have them. Uh, so, but my recommendation is definitely in favor for these. They get positive remarks from me all around. I have no complaints with them that I've experienced. I've been using them for about a month, uh, just about a month at this point, and I have yet to run across anything that I don't like about them. They are everything I hoped that they would be. So I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this headphone review. If you would like to see more of these, hit that thumbs up button and let me know. Uh, also, let me know in the comments what do you use when you're watching ASMR videos? Do you just use your computer's speakers? Do you have a pair of earbuds like these? Do you have a pair with a setup kind of like these? Or do you have the over ear or on ear, um, you know, with like a headband style? What's your preferred listening experience with ASMR content? Um, so, I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.